Hello and welcome to Otten Math. In this edition of Otten Math, we've got a pretty cool lesson talking about solving exponential and log equations. We're putting together all of the information that you've learned over the past five sections on logs. And I think that solving log equations are the most fun part of uh, the log chapter. So let's get started. So we want to talk about first properties of equality. All right, and there are two of them that I want to talk about. One is with exponential equations and one is with log equations. Very straightforward, but then in application it becomes a little bit more difficult. But conceptually, let's talk about uh, what the two properties of equality are. So first, in exponential equations, I say that uh, for b to the x is equal to b to the y, x is going to be equal to y if and only if b is a positive number and b is not equal to 1. All right, so I say that if I uh, have an equation 3 to the third is equal to 3 to the y, then I know that uh, y has to be equal to 3, right? 3 to the third is 27, and then we have to figure out a value of y that makes uh, this particular side of the equation equal to 27. We know that it's going to be equal to 3. Okay, next property of equality <clears throat> uh, is when we're talking about uh, log equations. So we had properties of equality with exponential equations. Now we're talking about properties of equality with log equations. So I say log base 7 of 49 is equal to log base 7 of x. Well, I know that in, in this case, x needs to be 49, right? 7 uh, squared is equal to 49. So if I were to rewrite this in exponential form or evaluate this particular log, it would be equal to 2. In the same case, in order to make this log expression equal to 2 with a base of 7, then I need to write x as 49. So x is equal to 49. So very straightforward. Again, the same criteria if and only if b is a positive number and b is not equal to 1. So I have properties of, properties of equality with log equations and properties of equality with exponential equations. All right now, let's put those properties into practice. And so we're going to talk about four different examples. On the uh, first two, we're basically uh, using the properties of equality that we just learned, and then the other two, we're going to lose, use some other um, practices in order to solve the exponential equations. All right, so first is equating exponents. All right, so I, the first thing I want to do is write the equation down. 9 to the 2x is equal to 27 to the x minus 1. And in this case, I'm going to use the property of equality with uh, exponents. And what I need to do is I need to rewrite the bases as the same value. So 9 and 27, I need to rewrite as the same value. Right, I can see that this I can use 3 as the same value for both of these. So I'm going to rewrite uh, 9 to the 2x is equal to 27 to the x minus 1. And I'm going to rewrite 9 and 27 as values uh, of 3 with an exponent. So I can say 9 is the same as 3 squared. And I can say 27 is the same as 3 cubed. And then I'm going to apply the exponent that was uh, part of the original equation to these values that are in parentheses. Okay, So I'm going to rewrite the basis so they're the same. So I have 3 squared, the 2x is equal to 3 cubed, the 3x minus 1. And so now I'm going to use the power of the powers property, and I'm going to rewrite this as 3 to the 4x is equal to 3 to the 3x minus 3. And I can use my property of equality for ex uh, equating exponents to say now that 4x, right, 4x is equal to 3x minus 3. I'm going to subtract 3x from both sides, and I get x is equal to negative 3. Okay, moving on. So the second part, this is part two, uh, we're talking about equating. We're going to use the properties of equality again. In this case, we're going to equate logarithms, right? So the first uh, thing you need to do is write the equation down. I have log base 4 of x plus 12 in parentheses. And remember, log base 4 of x plus 12 in parentheses is different than log base 4 of 
x plus 12, right? These are two separate uh, expressions, all right? So we're dealing with, in this case, in parentheses, that value uh, that's part of the base of 4, all right? So we're going to rewrite or write the equation, which we've done. Now we're going to use a property of equality for logarithms. And I can say now that x plus 12 is going to be equal to x. Okay, so in this case, x plus 12 is equal to x. If I subtract x from both sides, I get uh, 0x is equal to 12. So this particular equation is not going to be solvable. So just for fun, so we can work out an equation, we're going to say that this, in this case, we're going to say x is equal to 3. All right, so I'm going to rewrite this initial equation as log base 4 of 3 uh, so that we can come out with an answer that is some value. All right, so I write the log equation, so we're just changing this. Log base 4 of x plus 12 is equal to log base 4 of 3. And then I rewrite the equation as using the property of equality for logs as then now x plus 12 is equal to 3. I subtract 12 from both sides and I get x is equal to negative 9. All right, so this is the solution in the case where this value here is equal to 3 and not x. All right, now there are two more uh, strategies to use in solving uh, exponential and log equations. So let's go through the third of the four. And this one is taking the log of each side. So remember we said that part of the reason why uh, we use logs is to find out the value of a variable that is an exponent. So in this case, we're going to take the log of each side. And really what we want to do is we want to rewrite this in log form. Because that's ultimately, you'll, you'll hear potentially your teacher or me talk about taking the log of each side. But really we just want to rewrite in log form because that's ultimately where we're going to go. So I say log, if I were to rewrite this exponential uh, function in log form, it's now going to be log base 8 of 30 is equal to x. So I rewrite now in log form. And now I'm going to use a change of base formula as needed, depending on what this value is, in order to solve for x. And what I get is log base, I'm sorry, log base 10 of 30 over log base 10 of 8. So just the common log of 30 over the common log of 8. And now we're going to use, because I cannot solve this um, on my own, I need to use a calculator. In some cases, you might be able to solve it. But in this case, I cannot. So I will use a calculator log uh, 30, log base 10 of 30, divided by uh, log of 8. And that gives me 1.636 as my result. So I use a calculator, I get 1.636 as my result. And that's the value for x, approximately. All right. So taking the log of each side, or rewriting in log form to solve for the variable, and then using your calculator and the change of base uh, formula. All right, last is to exponentiate each side. So in the prior example, we uh, rewrote in log form. Now we're going to rewrite in exponential form. So I'm given a log function, and now I'm going to rewrite in exponential form. So first is to write the equation. Now I'm going to rewrite in exponential form. This is going to be 7 squared is equal to 3x minus 2 or 49 is equal to 3x minus 2. I add 2 to both sides. I get 51 is equal to 3x. So x ends up being, if I'm not mistaken, 17. OK, so let's also, actually, let's review what we just learned. Remember, we talked about the properties of equality, right? We have exponential. Uh, equations, property of equality with the same base, I can equate the exponents. Um, I can also uh, equate the logs when I have the same base for a log. Uh, so I have log base 7 of 49 is equal to log base 7 of x. 49 is equal to x. x is equal to 49. Now we applied those properties in solving uh, exponential equations. First, we recall that we had to make sure that the bases were the same. And we did that by rewriting as some base 
in this case it was three, uh, with a proper exponent that equaled the two bases. In this case, it's three squared. In the other case, it was three to the third. We use our power of the power property to uh, simplify the exponent, and then we equated the exponent. Uh, in the second example, uh, we were equating logs. In this case, we have if we have a log base something of something on the same base, and we can use a property of equality for logs to solve for x. In this case, we solve for x. In the first example, we could not get a value for x. In the second, we got a value of x that was equal to 9. And then the uh, next two uh, strategies, one was to take the log of each side to solve for a variable that's an exponent. And then the second strategy was to exponentiate each side when we have a log function. Right, last thing I want to talk about are uh, log patterns. And we've already been through this, so I'll just give these as, as an example. We want to uh, make sure that you understand these log patterns. You can see them and then solve for them where appropriate. So I have a log base 7 of 7 to the x is going to be equal to x. Right, if I were to rewrite this in uh, exponential form, it just says 7 to the x is equal to 7 to the x. Now when we have a log function that looks like this, we can rewrite 49 as 7 squared. So we end up with 7 to the question mark is equal to 7 squared to the x. And when we use our power of the power property, we can simplify this to be 7 to the question mark is equal to 7 to the 2x. And then we figure out that the question mark is going to be equal to 2x. And the last pattern, again, we've talked about this, uh, 7 log base 7 of x is equal to x where we have a pattern a b log base b of x is equal to x. Pattern here is this value, the bases are going to be the same. Then the value here will be your answer or the result um, on the right hand side of the equation. So if I have 8 log base 8 of 3x, then the answer will be 3x. So just, uh, just re recollecting these patterns as you go through some of the problems in your homework. I just wanted to highlight them to you before you start. That's it for Otten Math. Come join us for some practice problems on solving exponential and log equations in the next edition of Otten Math.